Hey KLA leaders, in honor of uh, National Poetry Month, I am going to be reading the opening prologue for Romeo and Juliet. Uh, two households, both alike in dignity, in fair Verona where we lay our scene. From ancient grudge break to new mutiny, where civil blood makes civil hands unclean. From forth the, the fatal loins of these two foes, a pair of star-crossed lovers take their life, whose misadventured piteous overthrows do with their death bury their parents' strife. The fearful passage of the death marked love and the continuance of their parents' rage, which but their children's end not could remove, is now the two hours traffic of our stage, to which if you with patient ears attend, what here shall miss our toil shall strive to mend. Those words are. Next week, April 29th is the end of the grading period. Make sure you're all good up with your assignments, and if you have any questions about your grade, contact your teachers before Friday. Good luck. Howdy, y'all. We'll be having our next dance, which is gonna be Western theme. Make sure you bring your cowboy boots and cowboy hat and bring your partner along. Tickets will be starting to sell soon. The price will be $3 for regular, five for VIP, and the dance will be in the amphitheater, but the tickets are going to be sold near the ASB store. The dance will be April 29th from 3 to 4.30. Hope to see you there. Hey, Kayla leaders, are you ready for your next challenge? Uh, so the next Math is Everywhere challenge is how many uh, hours until the last day of school? Remember, these are not 24 hours. These are school hours, meaning each day is eight hours. Make sure you submit your response to Miss Loaf or Miss Thomas. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> hey, Kayla leaders. Today I'm here with Mr. Icom, the music teacher. And yeah, so how are you doing today? Good, how are you doing? Uh, good. So my first question is, uh, like what music do you do? Like what is your preference? Oh, um, I like a lot of different styles of music, but I mostly play like jazz music. I play the upright bass and that would be, and the guitar and that would be the, the most, uh, what I do the most. And then uh, who is your inspiration? Oh, right. there's so many inspirations. Um, I really like Paul Chambers on the bass and I like Django Reinhardt on the guitar. And um, I try to find inspiration everywhere. And then, um, do you, do you only play one specific type of music? Like when you teach, do you guys only focus on one type or do you do multiple? In, in our music class, we play, um, we play different styles of music. Um, we have everything from classical music to um, gummy bear. I don't know what style gummy bear is. Um, you know, oh, I heard that song before, right? So yeah. we try to do anything, it's all music. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's like diverse mm -hmm. and then when did you take on music like like was it a lifelong thing or mm -hmm. um i was always drawn to playing with a keyboard or something as a little kid but i didn't really take lessons until until i got into high school and then i got more serious about it towards the end of high school and college really is when i started at once i got out of high school so. was it like was it was it something you did on your own like on free time or was it just was like, did you do it with friends as well? Oh yeah, with friends, yeah. In high school, I started playing in a band with friends and then then from that, I wanted to take take uh, take in school so I could learn more, so I could do more with my friends. And then did you always, like, did you, when when did you start to think that you could make money off of like teaching? Um, after I was done, I went to school, I went to college to study music. And so when I got done with that, I thought, oh, well, I was I was teaching some lessons and I thought maybe I could get a, a bigger position. And then my last question for you is why do you why do you continue to work with music today? Oh, it's so fun. I oh, is it fun? It's not just fun. I don't know. I don't think I could not do it. I mean, just like feel compelled. I guess. So it's just like you, know, you have to. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your time. I'm here with Sophia, the second coolest spotlight for April. Uh, how are you doing today? All right, well, today we're gonna to be talking about music and yeah. Mm -hmm. So what what instrument do you play? Um, I play piano. Piano? Mm -hmm. And then why, like, why do you like the piano? Mm -hmm. I gotta learn a lot of things, mm, especially like songs that I like. And then um, like who, who is your inspiration? Um, my mom. Your mom, why? Mm -hmm. Why does she inspire? Earlier on, um, she used to play piano. Well, she still does, but um, I started playing on it, and then she taught me. And then, do you think you have a future in music? Yeah. Doing what? 
Playing piano. And then, uh, like, when did you start playing piano? Um, I guess you could say like at the age of ten. Ten. Mm -hmm. And how old are you? Twelve. Recently. And then, uh, why? Do you, like, why do you continue to do it? Um, like I said, it was fun, and the songs are nice. Alright, well, thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm here with the second Cougar Spotlight for right Howdy y'all. April 29th, we'll be having our Western themed spirit dance from 4.30. Right, my stuff. I'm here with the second. Oh, okay. <laughs>